Hey y'all, my name is Kiwa and I am the half owner of So Cup and Cute. We are a custom cup store on Etsy and we are here with our first episode of our crafting small business series that we're going to start. So this is basically just going to be kind of taking you through some of the things that um, my partner and I have to do, you know, in order to try and get this business going. This is from the very start, well kind of the very start, um, of where we're actually starting to physically do things. So to hop right into it, I don't want the introduction to be too long. Again, my name is Kila. We are with So Cup and Cute, and today we are going to be building a photo light box. I've never done this before, but um, in order to list our pictures on Etsy specifically, and even with like posting pictures on Instagram and you know what have you, I kind of want it to look a little more professional than um, just you know anywhere. And this will really help to hopefully get the lighting right and with being able to customize backgrounds. So we're going to build that today. I'm not really going to be talking through it. I may do a voiceover, but um, I'm really here just to show you like the big picture process. And if you guys like the video and want me to be, go into more details, I can definitely do that into another video. But this is really just going to be me trying to figure this out um, and I would love for you guys to join me on this journey. So the rest of the video is probably going to just be a time lapse of me doing all of this and I hope you enjoy. Make sure you guys let me know down in the comments what you would like to see next, what I could do to improve. If you don't like the time lapse and you want it to be, you know, actual speed, let me know and let me know if you want a more detailed video, I know that's a lot to let me know, but yeah, let's get right into it. So I started out with a large box from Walmart. I cut off the flaps and I cut it down to make the height 16 inches. I then took some poster board and cut it to fit the panels. I added some extra pieces to where the creases are so that it wouldn't be creasing the walls. Um, the box is about 260. I'm using regular glue sticks, some crafting glue, and the Elmer's liquid glue to glue it down. I then decided to take and cut some windows out of it, put some parchment paper there, and then I worked on the top and I cut a window out and put parchment paper there. And that's it. 